Hey, welcome back, beautiful Geminis. Thank you for joining me here, Gemini. I hope you're all doing really well. Gemini, please and thank you. Gemini. Gemini. You're in the hand of the universe. The universe is your partner. The lay of the land. This is ancestral wisdom. You have the magician's sword, confidence in your magic. So you got everything going for you here. So <clears throat> what's going on? Hmm. A gestation period. Mindful thinking, the feast of plenty, choices and their confidence and their consequences. Hmm. There are consequences to some. Something is going on. This is the perfect storm. Well, let's uh, go to the tarot on this. What's this perfect storm all about? What's this gestation period and what are the consequences? What, do, what are you talking about here, spirit? Is this accusations? Is this accusations? You have the magician's sword, or someone else has got the magician's sword. Hang on here, Gemini. You're in the hand of the universe. So someone could have... Oh, shit. This is betrayal. This is deception. This is entrapment. Or is this accusations of entrapment? Somebody is sad or regretful. It's like is somebody trying to save their reputation here or tarnish someone's reputation. There are some kind of consequences to some kind of action that someone took. What's going on? Yeah, resourcefulness. Someone's hurt someone. Uh, this, what the hell? Is this an argument or is this physical fighting? Someone's very confident. Someone is very just. And someone's actions have led to a betrayal or a bunch of uh, chaos, conflict, drama something very painful here or is it the is this something physical here someone is denying something this is a high priestess why is is this mental anguish someone's actions have caused a series of events here to unplay. What's going on? <clears throat> Denying something about something of their past. Somebody could have been like pretending that they were genuine or something like this. 
But they could have been playing around with a with a dark energy, like a um. Jesus. Someone's a star seed, very patient. Holy Christ. Somebody's been judging an earth angel. There's been a dark force or a dark energy that's been judging a high priestess, judging someone of high value. This could be a healer or I don't know, somebody could have been wishing some evil intent upon um, a high priestess here. Hang on now. Whoa. What's going on? Gemini. Mm -hmm. The thing that almost broke me were the things that most awoke me. It's okay to forget and then to remember all over again. Realizations. So the things that almost broke me are the things that awoke me. So someone is definitely awakened, is in the hand of the universe. Someone deliberately out to break you. It's like could have been wishing ill will on you or causing you a lot of pain, causing you a lot of stress or worry. It's about somebody could have actually, for some of you, not all of you, somebody could have actually gone out, taken action on someone else and got them pregnant and then turned around and made up a bunch of gossip and rumors about you. It's okay to forget and then to remember all over again. So someone is coming to the realization. Okay, so the, you're like the warrior here, Gemini. Somebody did try to break you. Break your spirit. Break your uh, whatever it was. But... The things that almost broke you or the things that awoke you. And now you're in the divine flow. And move into alignment. This is unity, balanced energy, and manifestations. It is safe to surrender the good feelings. Like some don't feel good anymore. It's just like <clears throat> something doesn't feel good anymore. I think that you surrendered someone or something. It's just, this don't feel good to me anymore. Something has turned. It's not the way that you had hoped or the way that you had imagined. It's almost like something so incredibly painful. Maybe somebody caused somebody some pain. This is the perfect storm for an awakening. Now, perfect storm can be being caught in the middle of a triangle somehow. 
but it's like it's been perfect for you because it's awakening you. It was meant to be to awaken you. Something like this is a lot of negative energy. This is something really painful. This is something... I don't know. It's it's almost like someone playing you or playing around on you. It's almost like there could be a pregnancy involved. It's okay to surrender. This is change. This is karma as well. Uh, this is... You're on the divine path here. <clears throat> this emperor could be changing up on you. This emperor could have been very toxic or with someone very toxic it's almost like they're bitter and they're angry that they well they're facing the consequences of their actions this is karma they're angry because they're receiving karma they're angry because they may have felt like they were tricked trapped this is like an emperor who, yeah, they could have been a player. But this is the consequences of their actions. They are reaping what they have sown. This is karma. This is a collaboration. They could have been breadcrumbing you. Okay, well, this is a marriage <clears throat> that ain't going nowhere. It's stalemate. It's a dead end. It's a dead end. It's a dead end. And it's okay to surrender. It's okay to surrender. What's this going on? Uh, there could be some conflict. There can, uh, it's like having to admit defeat or something like this. It's like, it, it's okay to Okay, so there could be a conflict about money or this person could have left you out in the cold or something like that. They reap what they've sown. So they could be facing a tower. The things that tried to break me are the things that have awoken me. So this person could have cheated on you or lied to you. And finding out the truth about something. Well, they could have been in a relationship. I don't know. how somebody wants to surrender it. I, I don't think that you're liking the changes in someone. I don't think you like the changes that someone's made 
And I think you're being divinely guided to walk away. These are consequences. Could have been the perfect storm, though. Like, let's see. Someone could have interfered in someone's union. Somebody could have been the third party in someone's union. Someone's lies are catching up to them. They're going to reap what they have sown. What's going on? What's going on? Someone's acting really arrogant here. Someone's like changing. It's like... They just like turn cold or something. Yeah, there's two people that are sitting here with immature communication or something. Someone's ignoring someone. Someone's being really petty. It's like tit for tat going on here. There's a queen of swords, a king of swords. And I mean, someone is just refusing to answer questions or trying to be evasive. It's like you could be confronting someone. You have the sword of the magician, but so does this person. So, like... This, you're trying to talk and this person's ignoring you. They're being like, they're not even looking at you. They're not interested of what you got to say. You could have told this person, I love you. You could have told this person a lot of things, but they're not listening. It's almost like they're ignoring everything you've said ignoring everything that you're talking about here. It's almost like they're disinterested. Disinterest. They're showing disinterest. They're like being cold. They're like, but it's their coldness is turning you cold. Okay, it showed you being very loving, but their coldness is turning you cold. These are two people that got the sword. This is a couple. It could be, um, <laughs> they're just showing no interest. They could be leaving you on red. They could be like disinterested of what you got to say. It's like cold on cold here. Uh, both people are turning cold to one another. It's like you're trying to communicate to someone, but it's their head is turned away from you. It's like they're not interested in what you have to say. It's like it's very immature or something like this. I mean, you may have to discuss something if you have children with this person, but it's like, it's 
someone being very abrupt or, you know, it's hurting your feelings or you're trying to express yourself to someone and you might be questioning them and they're acting like you're a burden or something like that. Like, it shows you being loving, but then there's the other side of you that's, like, trying to express yourself, but they're not hearing it. Someone is, like, this is the perfect storm. So somebody could have cheated on you. Somebody could have uh, committed to a third party or something like that. Not sure. But third parties involved here and it's like they're acting cold like they don't care <clears throat> it's like they could have one looking uh, just looking for one thing you know but as it's like they're being cold gemini it's like this is a dead-end situation, a dead-end marriage, or a dead-end commitment. And it is an emperor who's doing this. It's like they're changing. Like this person's personality could be changing. Or that they were this way all along. But you're starting to see and recognize something about them. And spirit is like saying, let me be your partner. I will hold you up, Gemini. You have the magician sword. You can use this sword at any time, Gemini, and I'll be right here to catch you. You could be feeling, well, if the universe is holding me up, then why do I need this person? Like, this person's personality could be changing. Uh, they're evasive. They're, like, seem not interested. They seem to spend more time, like, with other people or with their family or their friends or their job. It's excuse after excuse after excuse about something and spirit is saying, Gemini, you have the sword. I gave you that sword for a reason. Let me be your partner. Let me hold you up. Let me show you that support. So whatever this is, it could have been like to break you. This person could have been trying to break your spirit or break who you are, change you into something that you're not or become something that you're not meant to be. And spirit saying, I gave you the sword, Gemini, use it. Let me hold you up. Um, this gestation period can actually be involving a child or a baby. You know, where was this person? Like, it takes a while to see the true colors of somebody as well. And it takes time to see who this person really is. But it's like they're not interested in showing you who they truly are. 
there's a reason. Now, it could have been that you have a child with this person. Or it could be that they got someone pregnant. And everything that this person is doing to break you is only making you stronger. you to move into alignment. Hmm. Like, where is this person? You know what I mean? They just show up at the final hour or they show up because they have to show up? Like, There could be a lot of bickering. Somebody is lying about a child or they're cheating around and they had a child. With the womb there, gestation period, there is some kind of betrayal. And someone's angry about it. Mm. Or are they worried about their reputation? You know what I mean? It's looking like they're getting the consequences to their choices. Have confidence in your magic. You have the magician's sword. And it's meant to be used. But there are consequences and choices to every action. Let the universe be your partner. It's like you gotta cut somebody out of your life. It's not going anywhere, it's a dead end. If something is the dead end, it's a dead end. Don't stay in a situation that's unhealthy. It's like it's like you feel like, or you could feel like, what's the difference? I'm alone anyway, so why am I with someone? It's like someone trying to break your spirit. Someone's just trying to lower your self-esteem or make you feel somehow less than it's time to move forward <clears throat> it's hard to accept it's something is hard to accept but it needs to be accepted if something isn't going somewhere, no matter how much we care or love someone, it's got to be it says it's a dead end. 
when it's over, it's over. It's like the universe is saying, let me lift you up. Let me be your partner. Take care, Gemini.